In this video, we are going to continue with indices. You will find this on page 4 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to 6 c. Let's look at simultaneous um, exponential equations. So solve the simultaneous equations, but can you see that, and I'm going to make it a bit bigger to see better. Okay. Can you see that there's the x in the exponent and in the exponent? Okay, so what am I going to do is I'm first going to always go for prime factors, okay? I take the 3 up, so it's 3 to the power negative 1. And then, because it's multiplication, I can add the exponents. And that's what I did there. And then, if I have 1 base equals 1 base, I can equate the exponents and say this is equal to this. This is my first equation. The same here, this is now just, but first make um, the bases the same. So in this case, it's 2 to the power 3x. And then subtract, because um, this is division. Then I subtract the exponents. And then, if I have the base equals this base, which is the same, then I can say this is equal to this. And there is equation 2. Okay. And now, solve equation 1 and 2 simultaneously. And now, I'm just going to solve that, write it underneath each other, and see, oh, that's positive 2 and that's negative 1. But if I multiply with a 2, I will get negative 2 to cancel there. But remember, that 2 must be multiplied with every term. Then I get this. Then this cancel, that's what I want. This cancel, there's 7, 7, and I just substitute it in one of the equations, and there is my solution. So I must just remember the rules or the laws of indices. I want you to stop the video. I'm going to make it a bit bigger so that you see better. I want you to stop the video, and I think we can just do 1a, and then also do number 2. Okay. And again, first try it on your own, as, and as soon as you are done, continue the video and see if you are correct. Okay, let's start. Just going to make it a little bit... So if I'm going to start here, I'm going to first write, this is number 1a, and that's 49, and that is going to be to the power of 2x, multiply 1 over 7, and it's going to be y minus 4, and that's 1 over 3, 4, Okay, I think I'm going to write the other one next to it. I will just move it up a little bit. I still want you to see. Okay, so the other one is 3, and that's to the power x plus 3. Uh, divide 1 over 27 to the power of y. Okay, let's just make it better. And that is equal to 1 over 9. Okay. Which is basically going to simplify. So always, always prime factors. So 49 is 7 to the power of 2. Can I quickly look at this uh, 3, 4, 3? It's also going to be 7. So if I look there, 3, 4, 3. And if I divide, oh, I want to quickly see. Oh, my calculator is now not with me. Okay, 3, 4, 3, divide 7, and that's 49, so 7, 49, 7, 7, 7, 1. Okay, keep it in mind for 3, 4, 3. So, this is going to be 7 to the power 2, 2x, times, bring the 7 up, 7, negative 1, to the power y minus 4, and that, it's 7 to the power 3, and if I bring it up, then it's 7 to the power negative 3. Then I just simplify. So this is, okay, I'm going to put this step in. So it's going to be 4x multiply 7. So this is going to be negative y plus 4. Okay, it doesn't matter. You can write, otherwise you can swap it around and say 4 minus y, which I think would have been better. Okay, 
And now it's multiply, so I add, so I think it will work out, because if I add, so I'm basically just going to add negative y plus 4, and it's equal to 7, negative 3. I have 1, a 7 equals 7, 1 base equals 1, so I can just go and say 4x minus y plus 4 is equal to negative 3, so 4x minus y, and I can take it over to that side, and then it will be negative 7. Okay, so let's call this equation 1. Okay, let's go for equation 2. This is my yellow one. Uh, I can just put a line here. Okay. Then this one is going to be 3x plus 3 divide. And this one is going to be, uh, this is going to be 3 to the power of 3. And if I bring it, um, 3 y, and if I bring it up, it's 3 to the power uh, three, negative 3y. Three and this is going to be uh, 1 over 3 to the power 2. And if I bring it up, 3 to the power negative 2. Now it's division. So I'm, I will say 3, and it's x plus 3, just minus that negative. Just make use of brackets, then you will not make mistakes. So this is going to be 3, and this is going to be x plus 3, plus 3y, and that's 3 to the power negative 2. And if I'm going to simplify this, I equate this, so it's x plus 3, plus 3y, is equal to negative 2, so x plus 3y equals negative 5. Okay, so let's just see x plus 3y is excellent. This is number 2. And now I can solve equation 1 and 2 simultaneously. Okay, so if I rewrite that, I'm going to have 4x minus y equals negative 7, and x plus 3y equals negative 5. Okay, and now I'm just going to see what, what can I multiply. If I'm going to... So I want to make, that's 3, so I want to make that negative 3. So I multiply just with 3, because it's already negative. So if I do that, I'm going to get 12x minus 3y equals negative 21. And x plus 3y equals negative 5. And I cancel, and I get 13x, and this will be negative 26 and I divide by 13 and I divide by 13 and I get x and that will be equal to negative 2 okay and now I'm just going to substitute that into equation 1 so just a little bit long um, substitute x is equal to negative 2 say in equation 1 okay take that one so 4x minus y equals ooh, negative 7, and then it's 4, negative 2, minus y equals negative 7. And if I move this a little bit up, I'm going to get negative 8 minus y equals negative 7. So negative 8 equals negative 7 plus 8. No, let's just move this also up. So I get negative y equals 1, so therefore, divide negative, divide negative, so y is equal to negative 1. Okay, and, and it is always nice to end, so therefore, uh, the solution is... Uh, x is equal to negative 2 and y is equal to negative 1. Okay. And that will be your answer. Okay, uh, let's do the next one. Let's do the next one. Let's just make space first.
not too difficult. All right, let's just move it down. Let's just move it down. Let's just see number two. I see number two. Just want to make space here. Okay, let's start with number two. Uh, okay, let's start. Number two. The equation of a curve, there is the curve, where A and B are constants. Given that the curve passes through 1 and 21, 2 and 63, and B and 189. Find the values of A, B, and P. Okay, start with the equation. What is the equation? The equation is Y is equal to A, B, and it will be to the power of Y is A, B. I just want to see it's a little bit small. Can I just see? So, oh, A, B to the power of X. Okay. So, I'm first going to substitute the points, the two points. Okay, but let's write, we'll write all the points down. It's 1 and 21, and it's 2 and 63, and it's P e and 189. Okay, so don't forget that every time this x, y, x, y, x, y, don't forget that. Okay, obvious. So, in the place of y, I'm going to put 21. And then it's A, B, and in the place of X, I put 1. Okay, let's make this equation 1. Okay, then I substitute this point. Okay, so I could have said substitute 1 and 21. <coughs> and now I can say, sorry, my pen, substitute 2 and 63. Okay, and then I will get... Okay, so in the place of y, I put 63, and then I have a, b, and in the place of x, I put 2. Okay, so that is going to be now what I do there. Now, I'm just going to see how can I simplify. Let's call this equation 2. Now, I simplified this also simultaneously, but it's not a plus b. So, so I don't make use of addition and subtraction. I make use of division. So... Um, it still solves equation 1 and 2 simultaneously. Okay, but making use of division. So I think I'm, I'm going to say rather, I can rewrite it here also, 2 divide 1. The reason why I decide 2 is because the exponent is bigger. Okay. So, I'm just going to say 2, so it's going to be, I want to rather keep it white, so it's going to be 63 equals a b squared, and I divide it by 21 over a b. Now, the reason why, can you see what happens now? Because this a cancel if I divide, and if I divide, what will I get there? I will get 3. And I subtract the exponent, so there will only be 1. So I already found P. So what is the value of P? I got that the value of P, I just want to control to see. Yes, the value of P is 3. And now I'm just going to substitute that in, into the equation. So substitute, I'll rather make it yellow again. Substitute P equals 3 in equation and which one okay let's make it one okay so if i have b is equal to three then i'm going to have 21 equals a and what is b b is three so therefore i divide three divide three so therefore a will be equal to seven okay so i have b and i have a and now that i have that i can put it both into the equation so I can say, therefore, in my curve, y is equal to a, what is a, 7, I prefer put it in brackets, what is b, 3, and I, and I don't know what is x. Okay, do you see? And now I'm going to substitute, um, b, 
0.189 in curve equation. So basically, if I move it up a little bit, I'm going to now get my, I'm going to say y, is, no, I have y, don't forget again, and i show you quickly. Okay, remember, this is x, and this is y. So y is going to be that in the place of y, I'm going to put 189, let's make it yellow, doesn't matter, 189, and there's your 7, and there's your 3, and there is your x. So what is the value of x? In this case, it's p. Now, can you remember when we were doing this? It's very important that you first isolate that. So you divide by 7, divide by 7. So I'm going to get that uh, 189 divide 7, I get 27. So I'm going to say 27 equals 3 to the power of p. Now I, I'm into to prime factors, so 3 to the power of 3 equals 3 to the power of p. The bases are the same, so therefore, what is the value of p? The value of p will be equal to 3. And it's always good to, if it's a word sum, to just, just read the question again. To see if you were answering what they were asking. Find the values of A, B, and P. Yes, so, um, so if you are 1, I can say, therefore, um, what is the value again? A is equal to 7, B is equal to 3, and P is equal also to 3. And that will be my final answer. Right, that's how you do it.